As I'm probably guessing that you're reading by the title of this video, this is, yep, a remake of my former Action Replay Max Cheat Disc tutorial guide on how to use it. Come on now, that old video was like four years old that the camera was far worse and it just really wasn't that detailed like I could have done. But since I now have a little bit more information on how to make a better detailed video, this is going to be the one. So anyways, of course, like I said, this is for the Action Replay Max Cheat Disc right here. And I'll just show you some of the options that you have with one of the last versions. This is version 3.70, which was released around, I like to say, 2005, 2006. They haven't really made an updated version since then because PS2 games really stopped being made around that time. You can update it to get a few more, but they're really, you're really not missing out on too much if you do have this version. So, we have the expert mode which in this mode you you basically get the cheat codes for the game simple enough here you got the max memory it was meant to be a device manager for your memory cards you can add saves, delete saves, copy, rename I think you could rename but I could be wrong crush and uncrushed in order to save space DVD region X which right here was pretty much well, sorry is pretty much a DVD player that allows you to bypass any region so you can watch a DVD from any uh, region in the world. And over here is the options, which are settings, as they say. It's basically meant to configure the uh, settings of your Action Replay Max, which it will save to your memory card for in terms of user settings. Now, I've already done the head, and of course, just to keep it familiar from the past, Tokyo Stream Racer 3 is once again in there compared to my old video, it's, and it's already ready to go just to save time. I've also already loaded up the code list, so ready to go. And just in case for those who are wondering, these two uh, blank icons were originally for where uh, previous features in older action replay phase were. One of them was a some m special media thing which you could play, like special stuff, including like emulators, and you could actually use it for free MC boot if you have one of the older ones. I used to, but then the disc broke. And I think this one I, over here, I can't exactly remember what it was, but to my guess, I'm pretty sure it was uh, basically uh, a me messenger program, which probably wouldn't work anymore. I, of course, I could always be wrong. So we're going to go into the expert mode. Now, I did mention this in the older video that even though sometimes when you put the disc in, it's not always going to go to the game for some reason. I don't know if it's just because it's my PS2 or it's just a regular problem with Action Replay. It will do it every it will do it every now and then, but I don't know why it doesn't do it all the time. But what can you say? So, pretty much we just got to go down to Tokyo Stream Racer 3. It's a bit too far now. <laughs> There it is, Tokyo Stream Racer 3. And basically, you get these uh, codes that are already in put into the uh, cheat device. I didn't add them myself because this is a game from uh, 2003. They would already be included. We got max cash, basically infinite cash, and it gives you the max amount you can have in the game. Infinite SP, which means you can never run out of any SP when you face your rivals, which means you're always going to win. Easy wins just basically makes their your opponent's SP incredibly small, so it takes literally seconds to beat them. And these are just day modifiers for certain things you might be wanting to do. Now, to add a code into a game, you just basically press to add new code, and you would over here you would just put whatever you want as a code. And then here, you would just put in something random the code value, but you won't actually put in something random or else you're going to get uh, this error message. Invalid action replay max code. It kind of has some detection thing which tells you if it's not a valid code, but this I've heard is incredibly buggy and we will do it sometimes for even valid codes to an annoying extent. But if you get it from the website, it usually should probably work for almost every game. So th that should show how to do it for the codes in an actual game, and of course, if you want to do it for, if you want to go to a new game, you go to the top, add new game, just pretend it's 
which is called new game, and then you put the master code, and you've already seen this. So there's no reason I need to show it again. So anyways, let's go back down to Tokyo Stream Racer 3. And we're going to put max cash and infinite SP. Now you press start, and you'll get a, a, a menu like this, which basically the first option to the left is launch game to start the game with the codes enabled. The middle one is to start it without it, and then the, the third one is basically to cancel and go back. So we're going to start the game with two codes. It will make it will give you a warning message saying ensure your game disk is inserted and press OK. It's basically to assure that you actually put it in so you don't forget and accidentally reload the actual replay max. We've already done that, so we're going to press OK. It saves the settings to your memory card, which is simple enough, and it's going to launch the game. Okay, so now we got the game all loaded up and ready to go. And basically, here's just a uh, skyline that I not really have any vinyls on because I'm not good with vinyl editing. Maybe someday I'll get the hang of it and be really good at it, but you'll never know. And over here, we got the max money, na 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 Basically, infinite. Infinite. It's basically you can buy everything and you know pretty much just. <laughs> it's actually helpful for one wanderer because of a uh, un a porting glitch that occurs. So I'm just gonna quickly pop for arrival to show you how it works in terms of the infinite SP. So let's just get. No, I don't want that guy. Oh, actually. I know who I want now. There we go. Ogre Deity. Let me try to get, it make it will work better if I try to get ahead of him. Or basically, it even, even works if I'm behind. If you notice on the top left, that is that's my SP, and it does not go down no matter what I do. So even if I decide to just dumbfoundedly run into this wall, it stays. And he's lost a bit of SP because I ran into him just to show that his will still go down. So it basically does not mean the race goes on forever. Anyways, just thought I'd show that. I'm not actually going to finish the race. Anyways, basically, hopefully this improved version of the action replay video will be a lot better to some of you and might help some of you understand a little bit better compared to my old video. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care. See you all in the near future.